Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to work with the Blob Brush tool in Illustrator. Okay, so Blob Brush tool, you can long click and select it from here, Blob Brush tool. Now I of course rearrange these panels and I rearrange the icons also. Now you can find this Blob Brush if you don't have it, you can click on these three dots here and you can scroll and search for it and just pull it in here somewhere. We can say it's kind of the same thing as the paintbrush tool, but not really. So I'm gonna uh, create a line with this and I'm gonna zoom in. And as you can see, this is a fill. So I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, you know, and as you can see, I can edit this fill. You can also see here, this is a fill and doesn't have any stroke. Uh, I'm gonna select the paintbrush tool now. This is the paintbrush tool and I'm gonna create a line with this. As you can see, it flipped on the stroke. So this is, it switched on the stroke. So you can see it here. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool again. And we got one single line that we can move up and down. So these are the differences and I'm gonna show you how it works with the tablet also and what else can it do. Another tip is you can increase or decrease the size of a brush by clicking on the left square bracket or the right square bracket. Okay, so I did this with the blob brush tool. Now I gotta change it to the paint brush tool and do it again. All right, so let's check these. So this was made with the blob brush tool. And so as you can see, everything is together. You know, everything is in one single fill. In the other hand, uh, with the, which I made with the paint brush tool, you can see that everything is like separate. You know, the nose is separate, these lines are separate, you know, this is separate and you can still work with it, you know, you can still edit and customize these, you know, but, but you cannot customize uh, the other one like this one, like it's way difficult because you got a lot of anchor points already here and you barely can customize it so you don't have the stroke. Now another thing is you can also use the erase tool, we got the erase tool right here, you can press shift plus E and erase some of the unnecessary parts. Meanwhile, in here, you can't do that that good because you won't do that great of a job, you know. All right, let's uh, fill this with some color. I'm gonna switch it to uh, fill. As you can see here, I'm on the fill. I'm gonna go and select some colors from the swatches. I'm gonna go with a brown and select the blob brush. So as you can see, it made it in a different layer. I can right click, arrange, send to back, and it's gonna send it to back. And so yeah, it uh, separates the layers pretty good. So, uh, so yeah, it's pretty easy and basic to work with the blob brush tool rather than uh, the other one with the paint brush tool. So mainly this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.